This province is used as an ATM. They come here, they loot, they go. I see Kwaran Mafikeng is a ghost town. Uh, it's a capital city of shame. Life is, it gets worse. You can't really say that you are in a capital city. There's a lot that is lacking and there's a lot that is not happening. If the ANC is still going to continue, like the behavior that they've been continuing in the past years, then we are getting nowhere. We'll, we, we're still going to struggle. Our kids are going to struggle. Our grandkids are still going to struggle because of the situation. Mahi King, the capital of the Northwest Province, which once had the potential to be a flourishing city. Now, the small town is buckling under the pressure from water and electricity cuts, the neglect of prominent buildings, litter, and of course, potholes. Mahi King is crumbling. Eyewitness News visited this historical town to explore what led to the situation and examine the extent of the disintegration. Uh, I have decided to deal with property. property uh... This is Tato Molo Sankwe a social activist who's outspoken about the challenges facing Mahi King. He's held numerous protests against the social ills in the town. Mahi King has turned into a sad story. When ANC government took over, it found Bupitatswana ready, having everything. They didn't even have to start from the bottom. They only had to maintain. We had everything. We had uh, pop recording studios, uh, one of the world class, uh, uh, with one of the world uh, 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 first class facilities. Uh, we had uh, in, uh, uh, Mahike International Airport. We had Mabanas. We had Northwest Arts Council. We produced uh, 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 greatest artists. We had everything, Northwest University, yeah, we had everything. ANC didn't have to do anything, actually. Uh, we are supposed to be a metro today, but we are still a, 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 what? a town. We are not even a city. When you enter uh, Mahikeng, you don't see the, the capital city. You just see a poor town, miserable town, Poverty, it's, it's bad here, lawlessness, drugs, uh, looting of buildings by uh, comrades and uh, tender tycoons who look after the ANC. Uh, roads are bad, you saw uh, for yourselves. There are so many uh, uh, neglected uh, uh, government buildings. The intention for neglecting those buildings is to sell them. They are turning them into liability. One of the neglected buildings referred to by Molosonkwe is the iconic Unibo Chapel in Mabatu suburb. Inside, we found Lumka Mbele, a resident of Mabato, with two other people scraping the floors. They are part of a group of residents trying to restore the abandoned historical buildings of Baputa Tswana. We feel so sentimental about these buildings. You know, the erstwhile government built all these, these uh, assets for our children. So we are trying to restore them and to revive them, to make sure that there's something for you people when you grow up and your children as well. We leave some our legacy behind. What is the use of destroying such good and strong buildings just for the sake of it? So. It's actually a very sentimental thing to me as a person to make sure that everything goes back to normal. The state of the church itself when we got here, it was so bad, it was so filthy. So we just got involved and cleaned it up and just made it a point that everything goes back to normal. We're using our own resources. We are 
generally just begging to make ends meet, to make sure that there's polish on the floor and stuff like that. We have a city council right next door to this building the Mafiking, Mafiking local municipality. The least that they could do was to cut the grass and just clean up the place. But they're not doing anything, nothing. Unfortunately, our present government really does not care about buildings that used to be erstwhile bob buildings. We realize that unless we do something as residents, as citizens of this place, this place is going to go to the docks. Mbele says, all she wants for Mahi King is restoration and dignity. At one of the three entrances of Mahi King lies the suburb of Danville. Passing by Danville, it appears unkept with overgrown bushes. Venturing further in, there's open land filled with litter, a graveyard left to decay, and a deteriorating high school with broken windows, classrooms, without doors and sagging ceilings. Deeper in Danville, a polluted stream of sewage flows. Community members say the stream wasn't always this polluted. They fear for the children who sometimes like to play there. A few blocks away is a section of RDP houses. Just next to these houses is another area of open land, filled with rubbish and an overflowing sewage drain. Residents say they can smell the stench from their homes. Every day of my life, I had to pick up dirt, boxes, plastics and things. I had to pick it up because when the winds come there, it blows it up and it throws the dirt in the yard. So I had to keep my place clean because of my daughter, one of my daughters. She's at school, she's asthmatic. At first, when we when we, we, we moved in these houses, we were staying in, 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 in shacks. Ne? Then they built these RDP houses for us. Then we moved from the shacks into the RDP houses. But there was no dumping site here. It was clean. It was clean. There was no stink, nothing at all. We, we could have went to town by food without mop and everything like that. But now, I say this worse because I see what's going on. I'm blaming the, 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 the ruling party because if the, 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 the councillors talk to the people, gather them together, talk to them and tell them, listen here people, we are all human beings. We all need to be clean. We all need to be healthy. Don't put other people's life in jeopardy. All my life I was ANC, all my life I was ANC, but I see they did nothing for us. Within Mahikeng is the village of Lonely Park, situated next to the affluent estate of Leopard Park. Residents say there are no job opportunities, leaving them unemployed and in poverty, especially the youth, such as 29-year-old Otwetwe Kela Otwe. He has a degree in financial management and entered at the office of the Premier for two years. But he's now unemployed. To try and make ends meet, he does menial jobs, digging or collecting waste. I don't feel anything anymore. I'm just numb. It's been happening. You know, sometimes if you go through something, something over a long period of time, you just become numb to it. So, it is what it is. So you just look and... Because you even lose hope at some point, you know. Uh, you can try, we just try some small businesses. Because I can tell you, currently here in Longley Park, 80% no? uh, of young people here, when they wake up, they just go to the golf course. They are kiddies. You know, that's what they live by. You, know, you just go there, you carry a bag of golf. You go through 18 hole and then when you get out there, you just get 180, if you're lucky, 200 and something, then you come home. So that's what the majority of young people do here in Longley Park. Kela Otswe is also concerned about the issue of outsourcing from outside the Northwest. I'm not being, I'm not trying to be tribalistic or something, but I'm just saying that why can't we look home first before we go outside? If that skill is not here at home, 
then it's no problem outsourcing it somewhere else. You know, so that's why actually people are leaving Mafike in, in Northwest and going to other provinces. Young people here in Mahike are qualified. You apply, but you will be hired based on your color of your T-shirt or your cap. You must be an ANC comrade or you must be connected to someone. During our visit, residents across Mahikeng were without water for almost a week due to Sedibeng workers striking for unpaid wages. But the water supply issue is not a new one. Residents say it happens often and the quality of water is horrendous. You'll find that you'll have water like today is Wednesday, then after tomorrow, then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there won't be water. So we are struggling with water. There's no water in Longley Park. If, if you see the, the kind of water that I, 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 I get from my taps this morning, I even couldn't take a bath because of the fact that the water is, you can't even use it to wash your pigs, unfortunately. Power outages are another regular occurrence across the local municipality, with residents and businesses having to endure days without electricity. Non-functioning streetlights force residents to use their own resources to light up the roads. In 2018, Mahikeng was shut down by violent protests due to the lack of service delivery and corruption. This is when parts of Mabana and the Arts Council were burnt. To date, the Arts Council has not recovered. The strong calls for then Northwest Premier Supra Mahupelo to step down spread to other towns, forcing President Cyril Ramaphosa to intervene. Thereafter, the province was placed under administration. Since then, the province has found itself engulfed in more corruption scandals, including the VBS saga. According to the Auditor General report, there is a total neglect of internal control disciplines in the Northwest Province, which has caused financial and operational collapse, as well as weakened governance process, and has resulted in a lack of accountability. Some statistics from the report on the province reveal an authorized expenditure of 2.6 billion rand and wasteful expenditure of 422 million rand. Irregular expenditure was 4.1 billion rand. The financial health indicators revealed that the going concern uncertainty was 50% and the ESCOM and Water Board's debt was just over 1 billion rand in arrears. Opposition parties in the Northwest cite reasons for the collapse of the province as the lack of leadership and the ANC using the province as its playground for factional battles. In the midst of all these factional battles, service delivery does not take place. When it does, it suits or caters for a certain portion and not the other due to the factions. You have um, municipal administration that has been politicized to an extent that they take sides politically and they forget that they are there to serve. But I can speak proudly as the Democratic Alliance and say we have done everything in our power. Unfortunately, the system of democracy is created in a way that the majority part will always have more power. You get into the house, you are going to pass a budget. They even pass budgets that are unfunded in municipalities using the majority. What is it that you can do? You can make the noise and make all the noise, then they take everything to voting. When they vote, it goes their way. You write to the MEC. The MEC happens to be the MEC of the ruling party. So it goes, it's like the referee and the player within one cycle. Immediately after the ANC government took over, everything started uh, dilapidating. We need a new government. We need uh, an alternative. And that is exactly what the people of Mafeking are saying. Uh, there is a vacuum of leadership, uh, there is no leadership at all here. It is an issue of cater, cater deployment, it is an issue of a, a faction that has won a conference and therefore it means that uh, they must just take over the, the reins. But in actual truth, uh, the reason we are here, it takes us back to the doors of the ANC. The UCDP, which was the governing party of Paputatswana, is hoping to resume governing the Northwest. Uh, it is clear that we are not going to do anything surprising. We are just going to start on our program that we left 
uh, 17 years ago during the Bob government. We, we've, all, we, we all, we've always been the, uh, the best in terms of how we do services to the people. The ANC in the Northwest conceded that it hasn't always run things perfectly in the province. But it's confident that as a result of its renewal process, it will do better and make changes. In the first instance, we are quite uh, perturbed by the debilitating state of most of our municipalities, uh, Mafi Gang included, and uh, uh, we also agree that uh, it is a reflection on the leadership of the ANC, because we remember that from 1995, the ANC has always been in charge of that municipality. Um, so there's been mistakes and errors made under our watch. Uh, and uh, as part of ANC's renewal, uh, we want to do better. We have to do better by our people. The party also feels that it's unfair to compare the current state of the region with the Paputatswana era. When in every society is uh, facing challenges, there's always going to be that reflection of the past. You would know that uh, uh, Putazwana had a much smaller jurisdiction in terms of servicing the people of Putazwana. When Northwest was created, you had to amalgamate areas from the Western Cape, the Northern Cape, uh, some of them from the PWV and others were from, uh, uh, were from Putazwana. So, so the mandate grew. And that is why it would be quite narrow to suggest that a state that is undemocratic first and foremost uh, would have served a much smaller population better than what the ANC is doing because uh, the, 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 population grown, uh, the population has grown quite considerably. But to the mandate has grown because the ANC government in the Northwest serves a much bigger population. Uh, and, and where there are mistakes of maintaining infrastructure that was good, we, we must admit that uh, those errors uh, are there. But the ANC has vowed that uh, this time around, uh, we have assembled a team of distinguished men and women who must lead with honor, with integrity. Bobby Sol, the Mafeking Mail newspaper editor, has been covering the town's stories since 1984. He witnessed how the government operated as Paputetswana, its integration into South Africa in 1994, and all that happens with the province under the administration of seven ANC premiers thereafter. He says, previously the political competition has been stiff and believes that the 2021 local polls are going to bring excitement and change. I think the ANC is going to have, uh, they are going to be given a run for their money this time around. Uh, I think uh, a lot of new developments in the political scene has come onto, onto, into play now. And uh, uh, especially with why we're going to have a lot of independent candidates this, the, 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 the opposition has realized that, in fact, we can beat the ANC by forming coalitions. That's how I see the, the, the politics, the, 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 the current polls playing out. People have, will have to, whether you follow one person or three people or a group of politicians or a political party, but Taking their vote away from the ANC is what people have in mind, so to speak. And uh, it's going to be a struggle for the ANC to, to get back that vote and go forward with it. The governing ANC say it's confident that it will be victorious in all its municipalities. But with the rise of smaller parties and independent candidates, in conjunction with the level of anger and discontent within communities, this could prove a significant challenge for the ANC.